In short summary, Agar Atar is that it's a collection of all the facets of Ood, whereas Kinam Atar was one specific profile within the many profiles of Ood. Kinam Atar equates to minimalist Toro Sashimi, a minimalist perfume. Agar Atar equate, equates to egg and chicken fried rice. More complex, diverse, among the facets of Oud. Not my words, ladies and gentlemen, but from the Oud Sensei himself, Taha. It's branded therapeutic fragrance, chasing the best of the best. Taha is back. Agar. Atar. From the house of Agar Aura. Subscribe and let's go. Check out the juice. You know Taha, it's powdered juice on the bottom. Presentation's getting dialed in in all of its glory. Let's do a spray on the wrist today. Who? A different place, a better place as soon as you Spray and Agar Atar, $495, 25 ml. I haven't weighed them, I don't know. I think they were originally supposed to be 20, maybe these bottles went to 25 ml, that's what it is. Taha is the perfumer, released at the end of the month. I believe we have a hopeful date of October 30th for these. Overall, this is a different, tougher, more scars on it, oud perfume. Um, we're comparing this to Kinam and, and Agar. That's the level of ouds that, that's in here. It's the price point that's, that's in it. Don't get me wrong. All of those have extreme beauty in their own right. First question I had right away, message to Aha. Where is that berry fruit blast from? Uh, another answer I got from him, he said it was a strawberry tincture. He wanted to emphasize the benzyl acetone of Eastern species, strawberry, which is more like a raspberry, which was, that was my first impression was this was a uh, uh, raspberry. The overall goal of his was to emphasize Indian and Malay scent profiles and all of its goodness. This on the top right away has a raspberry bolt that if you're familiar with Tuscan leather, almost exactly like that. I keep raspberry ketones in my fridge. This smells like the ketone, like one of my biggest mistake days I had. I, I've hinted at it in videos, never given the full story on it. Short story, I blew up a FedEx with this raspberry ketone. The package didn't get delivered on time. I was out of town on business for 10 days. They literally got it like the first day I was gone. I come back, half of the FedEx place loved me. Half of them hated me because of what this ketone did. Just the whole place smelled because of my box. They're like, what is in that thing? Funny stuff. Okay, let's slow roll back to the critique. Basking back, sitting back and basking. In the fragrance, it's quite a pleasant fruit. With oud, it does venture towards Tuscan leather, like mentioned. So you guys familiar with that? That's literally what it smells like to me. Top note, which I love. I love that Tuscan leather raspberry note in there but all similarities of both perfumes in there. It back into the good stuff. It seems like I talked about camphor a little too much in the last reviews as now um, it's getting written in everybody's reviews. Sorry, Taha, but it is becoming a signature of Taha. I'm getting used to it. I think I would miss the whole Taha grasp without it. He's using longevity to keep these ouds going, which I want them going forever. If you can make them last on my skin for days upon days, this oud, I'd do it. So whatever it takes to make it longer, I'm for. And I'm getting used to the DNA, the, the Camp Forest DNA that he uses to provide the bed of that longevity. I, I can't imagine a Taha out uh, without it, and it delivers. 
The aromatics in Agar Attar are completely different from aromatics that I'm used to on a lot of my perfumes. They are Indonesian. They are Malay. So I'm going to try to put words to them because this is new for me. The best I can do is we're all familiar with resins from trees, right? Copal, frankincense, all the resins, pine tar that trees produce. So you got the resins and then you got the essential oil the tree produces and then you got the bark. Think about the aromatics in this as the bark. Just more pungent, more scratchy, darker, more earthy, more rooty, yet still vibrant with what that tree offers. Kind of makes sense. It's the best analogy I could come up with for this. The bark has more tang, but still is crisp. And the aromatics, the, the other spices that are in here, the vanilla, the different herbs he uses, I can't name them by name. They do, I mean, it's not straight up like your Thai food herbs or your, like a, maybe it's a Thai basil, I don't know, but just these darker, richer spices in here um, that are in the perfume. Uh, I can't name them without him naming them. I can just smell a difference, a different aromatic in there against the fruit, a different green that's in there, still spicy. Still crisp, just that tree bark bite in them. And they play off almost against an amber-based oud. Might be this berry tincture playing against ouds, more caramel flair. Let's see how it plays. But just a nice amber, sweetened amber with the berry that starts to develop here against the woods. A vibrant, rugged cowhide pops up, and a browned green scent warms the heart. So instead of green leaves, thinking of browned a bit with just, just a bit of character on them. And then as it sits on the skin, that caramel really becomes vibrant, that vanilla caramel kind of vibe with the skin and the leather. Definitely a sharp amber with crisp aromatics that breathe off the skin. Just like the oud, just like the oud making the ketone come to life. <laughs> He never said ketone, that's for me. It smells like an isolate, and I put a little bit of money on it that it was. Overall, Agar Attar is a trip in Malaysian and Indonesian oud, showing the facets of the top, heart, and bottom of the oud, mixed with the wood spices and berry. Oud lovers will not be disappointed with this. Scoring Agar Attar. Experience, 14 out of 15, 4 out of 5, brand new originality, Project Siage, 5.5, five. Longevity's 5.5, five. Composition, 16 out of 20, Ingredients and Price to Mill, 24 out of 25, Top 7, 10, Heart 4, 5, 9, 10, Base, Total score of 88, Definitely bottle worthy with the rarity of the Oud in this fragrance. Where would I wear this? The people that missed out on Kina Matar, it's Kina Matar switch up. Kina Mantar is the minimalist. This is for when you want a bigger picture of it all year long. Who do I see wearing this one? Michael Simon, the chef. This is a chef's perfume to me. One to three sprays. I, I really like my agar auras on the neck. Two feet scent bubble, medium to long tail. People will smell and know that this perfume is on you and this will last up to eight hours. Everyone, I love you guys. Hope you and yours are safe and be blessed.